Today, we're going to pit the simplicity of easier swing against the complex way that the tour players play, finding a way that just the ordinary golfer can deliver tremendous power with an easy golf swing. That's coming up right now. So we're going to be using this Trackman system uh, today. We're here at Golf Swing Systems. They sell all the different types of uh, launch monitors and, and tracking systems. Uh, this one, Trackman IO, is about 12 and a half thousand pounds, but they've got systems right the way down to things that are just about 600, 650 pounds. And if you go to uh, their website, Golf Swing Systems, and type in easiest swing as a code, you get a 5% discount off almost all of their products. We're going to try and test and see how easier swing will work against the tour type of distances that they uh, achieve. Rory McIlroy is the longest player on the tour, 326 yards, but a lot of them are around about the 300 yard mark. So how close can we get to that kind of level with an easier swing? Most people accuse us of the fact that the easier swing is not going to deliver power. And I want to prove to you that you can get plenty of power and with an easier swing. We all get told that the tour player is the template and that that's the way we should be swinging. So what does the likes of Rory McIlroy have to do to put another 50 yards on the distance that I've got there? Well, he's having to um, put in a lot of strain. He'd be creating a lot of width here in the backswing. Now, that might be easy for you to do. It isn't easy for me to do. Um, and he will create a lot of torsion in his lower body here. This is going to be very static. Is that easy to do? Well, if you're 20 years of age, you're young, you're athletic, athletic, yes, you probably can do that. But when you're slightly older, senior golfer, maybe 55 years plus, like most golfers, you're gonna struggle with that. So if you want to enjoy your game and enjoy a decent distance off the tee and be relaxed and easy when you're doing it, you can do it with the easiest swing. So what are you gonna to have to adopt if you're gonna change from that kind of formulaic way of playing is you're gonna uncover your own authentic swing. And to be able to do that, you're gonna to have to release yourself from the three deadly don'ts. That is the left heel has got to be able to come off the ground. That gives you a little bit more rotation, a bit more turn than you would do if the heels kept down. You're going to allow your head to move a little bit. Your head doesn't have to be still in a golf swing. And in fact, to swing properly, I believe you have got to move your head. There's a lot of statistical evidence to show that all tour players move their heads. And also, um, you're going to have to allow your left arm to be a bit more relaxed. You may even get a little bit of a bend in it. Just as long as it's relaxed, it doesn't have to be stiff and straight, it can be relaxed. And if you do those three things, you allow your head to move, you allow your left heel to come off the ground, and you allow your left arm to bend, you will create lots of power in the golf swing without so much effort. And that's really what we're looking for, is powerless effort is no good to you. Effortless power is what you're looking for. And it will deliver plenty of punch when it comes to hitting the ball for you. So after what we've just discussed, I'm going to be making sure that I get plenty of movement into my swing. My arm's going to be relaxed and I'm going to let my head move a little through the swing, really from side to side to encourage my weight transference throughout the swing. So let's just see how that works. Nice and straight. So 240 yards of carry, 264 total distance. So that's fairly typical for me, you know, around 260 to 280 yards and occasionally 300 on a good one. But uh, that just shows you that with easier swing, you can still produce plenty of power in your shots. It's not about going into the contorted positions that the tour players have to do to achieve those extra distances. You can do this probably a lot easier than any of those type of positions. And if you're a senior golfer, you'll be friendlier with your body. It's not gonna cause you pain and you can play you know, week in, week out without having to uh, go to the osteopath to get your back sorted out. <laughs> gonna hit this one 
even a little softer. I'm just going to take it, a lot of the power out of my swing and just see what happens. Oh, Mr. Fairway. Still about the same distance, 241 yards carry, 269 yards distance, so very similar. Didn't quite catch that one out of the middle, as you can see with the graphics there. But uh, yeah, again, plenty of power. That's, that's going to get me a long way down nearly every hole that I need to use my driver on. And it will work with every club in the bag for you. You don't have to put that kind of real awkward swing on the club to be able to get plenty of power. Just shows that easier swing will work for you perfectly well nice and easy, relaxed golf, strain free, and you'll be able to play consistently, play every day if you want to without pain. Okay, so we've had a few shots there all around the 270 yard mark. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put half the effort into this next shot. This is something we recommend you to try and have a go at on the range yourself. Half the effort should equate to half the distance, 135 yards. Let's have a look and see what happens. So as you can see, half the effort, but still 200 yards of carry, 198, 225 distance. So half the effort doesn't go half the distance. And if you practice that, I can promise you a practice session at the driving range, hitting 10 to 20 balls doing like that, you will really start to see yourself timing the ball nicely. And you'll see these distances start to creep back up again, even though you're only putting half the effort in. So that's a really interesting thing to go and experiment with. Will half the effort equate to half the distance? I'm pretty sure you'll find it won't. One device that we really recommend is a swing caddy. This is a, a lovely device to practice your game with on a daily basis. Very easy to um, practice with, no strain on your body. And because you're not hitting a golf ball, you can kind of forget all about that, it's just about your swing. So what do we do with it? We just take a nice, easy swing and the, the device will click at the fastest point. So I'm just concentrating here on making a really nice, easy golf swing. And the click is happening kind of here through to here. Now, what I could do is I could speed that up a little bit and you'll see it will click here. Well, I don't want to practice that. I want to practice clicking it at the bottom. So nice and easy again. So that helps my rhythm. So as a device to practice to help your rhythm and make sure that you're delivering the power at the bottom of the swing, rather than here in the start of the downswing, you can do that with it. Another thing you can do is you can turn it up a little bit here, and I'm just gonna put it at a higher rating here. Um, let's just show you this. So I had that set on 56 before, I'm gonna put it on 66 miles an hour maybe just a bit more, so it's sort of about 70 miles an hour. It's just gonna require just a little bit more release through the ball. Okay, so that encourages me just to release through the ball. Now what you'll find with these devices is that if you start to put too much effort into them, especially if the effort's coming from the upper body, very often it won't click particularly if you're tight in your wrists, tight in your hold, and tight in your body. So I'm putting a lot of force and effort into that, but I'm not getting it to click. To get it to click again, I'm gonna to need to relax. I'm gonna to need to be softer, that's it, and easier in my wrists, easier in my body. The movement through my body action needs to be in time with that swing, not ahead of it. So just watch that again. So it connects the swinging weight to the movement of your body. That's very important. Now you can really start to ramp it up if you want to. I'll take this, I can do this at the maximum 110, but it takes a lot of extra speed to make it click at that 
that setting. How am I going to do that? Am I going to push myself through faster? Again, no. It's about relaxing in the wrists and making sure. Let's quite get it there. Let's try it again. So I can get it to click at the maximum, but you can see the kind of speed I have to achieve to do that. And I can only do it if I'm relaxed. If I had tense, tension in me, that wouldn't happen. But I don't recommend that that's what you do on a regular basis. So you can hear, I'm out of puff. It's quite hard work. I suggest, as I do myself, bring it down to about a mid rating and practice an easier rhythm on your swing, because that's closer to the rhythm you want on the golf course than the fast one you just saw, which would be very hard to control. So that's a swing caddy. We also have the hole-in-one, which is a slightly shortened version of that. Could call it a mini swing caddy. Does exactly the same thing, but it's for better use for indoor use. So once again, I'm just gonna try and take what I've learned with, a sw with my swing caddy and adopt that with the club and see if I can generate some good speed on here without effort. Let's just see how that looks. Pity I didn't get it square. <laughs> so I've managed to push that one a little bit, left the club face a fraction open, but 252 yards carry. 269 yards for total distance again. I think if that club face had been square, that would have gone quite a lot further. I'm gonna try it once more, see if I can get a, a longer one. So yeah, we got the carry up to 250, total at 269. That's okay for me, I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so that just proves Rory McIlroy has got nothing to worry about from me, but, what does it also show for you? That as a senior golfer, you can achieve decent distance, decent power. Uh, I'm 65 years old, so I'm nearly double Rory's age. Uh, I have four fused vertebrae in my back, so I haven't got the flexibility, I haven't got the uh, capacity to be able to deliver those kind of powers that they do. But I can still get one out there at 270 yards as the, as the monitor has shown us. And that's something that I think all golfers over 55 years of age can do if they follow those nice, easy, simple instructions to let yourself move more freely. Don't get tied into this idea that you've got to do it the same as those young guys. You haven't. You can get a bit more movement, a bit more freedom into your action. You can reduce your effort and you'll find you'll get plenty of distance too. So I hope you've enjoyed watching that video. If you have, please like and subscribe, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.